Today we're looking at how to change the settings on the sewing machine. There are three main dials that you need to use. The top dial controls the width of the stitch. There's a little diagram that shows the width of the stitch starting out small and gradually getting bigger. Zero is the smallest and five is the biggest. That's the stitch width. The next dial is the dial that you change to change the actual pattern of the stitch. So over here we have pictures from one to eight. One is a straight stitch, two is a zigzag stitch, and three to eight are decorative stitches. So if, we, if we're sewing a straight stitch, we need to select the number one. At the bottom, this dial controls the length of the stitch. Again, there's a little diagram. The numbers on this dial go from zero through to four. We never sew with zero as the length. Most of the time when we're sewing a straight stitch, we sew zero two. So I'll set my length to two. All right, so just recapping, I want to start off by sewing a straight stitch. I need to make sure that I select number one on the stitch selector. When sewing a straight stitch, your width is always zero and my length is two. So I'm ready to start sewing a straight stitch. When I sit down at the machine, I place the fabric underneath uh, the needle. I need to make sure that my two threads are off to the side. I also need to make sure that my thread is not tangled in any way. To start sewing, I use the hand wheel and turn the hand wheel towards me to place the needle in the fabric and I clamp down on the material. Now the presser foot is holding that fabric in place. Now, once I've got that, I just need to make sure that these side threads don't get tangled and I start sewing a straight stitch. Now if I want to turn a corner, that's called a pivot, I slow down I turn the hand wheel, placing the needle in the fabric. I lift the lever and swivel or turn the, f the whole fabric. I clamp back down and I begin sewing again. That's called a pivot. When I take the fabric off the machine, I need to make sure that the needle is in the air. I lift up the presser foot, I take the fabric off always to the left and I snip it with fabric scissors.